Mothers and fathers in Planned Parenthood, my name is Wendell. I am out here because I love you guys and I love the baby that is in your womb. And so you see, if you are out here, you are not loving your neighbor as you love yourself. Because the Bible calls us to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. You are doing the opposite of loving your neighbor. You are hating your neighbor. The opposite of love is hate. And so you are hating your neighbor. You have judged your neighbor to die. You have judged your baby. That is not your call to do. You are not called to judge your baby to die. You are called as a man. Sir, be a man. You are called to protect life. Not, not help take life. You are called to protect your wife and children. The Bible calls us to protect them. And that's what you are called to do. But you're leading your wife in here to slaughter her baby, and your baby. That is your child that you are fixing to let the doctor kill here. This doctor does not care about you or your wife. This doctor, all he wants is your money. Guys, in Romans 3.23 it says, For all have sinned, and all have fallen short of the glory of God. In Romans 6, in Romans 6.23 it says, For all the sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And you may say, I don't have sin, but the Bible talks about that also. The Bible talks about an exodus that gives us the law. And that's the Ten Commandments. Everybody should know the Ten Commandments. Thou should not lie. Thou should not steal. Thou should not covet. And thou should not murder. And that is what you are doing here today. You are murdering a child. That is why we need a Savior. Because we've broken God's holy law. And we deserve hell. We say in America that we are a Christian country. We are far from a Christian country. We are murdering children every single day and everywhere, everywhere in America. We say our dollar bills in America. In God we trust. No, we don't. We trust our money and the things that we have. We don't trust God. We hate God. You don't love God. If you loved God, you would not be here murdering your child today. Because there again in Exodus 20 it says, Thou shalt not murder. And you are leading your child to death again. I do not know if you have other kids besides this. Besides this. But if you do, if someone breaks into your house tonight while you're sleeping, you would take a gun and you would shoot them. And you would protect them with your life. Why are you not doing that now? Why are you not being a man or a woman protecting your children that God has gave you? There's many women in America today that want children and God has not blessed them with children. They're willing to adopt your child. We're here because we want to offer you resources. We want to offer you help. We will adopt your child. We will take you to a clinic that will, adopt, that will deliver your baby for free. No cost to you all. And we know people that will adopt your child. Well, you don't have to pay anything. So let us help you. If you are here for a women's exam, we know places that will do that for you too. There is no reason to come to family, family back family planning. This is a murder mill. They murder children here. They don't love children. They don't plan families. They, they end lives. And you may say, I'm not here for any of that stuff. I'm here for birth control. But birth control is a form of abortion too. And it's wrong. And you will be held guiltless on the day of judgment when you stand before God. You will have to answer for that. You will have to answer for murdering your child. So please, come down here and let us help you. As I was saying, in Romans 6.23 it says, for the, in Romans 6.23, Romans 6, 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of life, the free gift of life, 
For the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So there again, how... Well, you may say, I prayed a prayer. But that doesn't save you. Praying a prayer does not save you. The only thing that can save you is by putting your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. And I'm not here out here telling you this stuff because I'm any better than you. I'm better off because I have Christ living in me. He sees my sin no more. How do I begin? You may ask, how do I become saved then? Well, the gospel is simply this. Jesus Christ, fully God, fully man, sent His Son to live a perfect life that me and you could not live. He sent His Son 2,000 years ago to die on a cross for us. And we have to repent and turn away from our sin. We have to truly realize that we deserve hell and repent from that. Man, let us help you. You don't have to murder your child today. Pay back your child. We'll give you anything that we have that we can give you. We'll even raise your, we'll help you raise your child until it's 18 if that's what we have to do. So please, guys, come down and let us help you all. We're not here because we hate you all. We're not here because we are mad at you. We're here because we love you and your baby and your world. And God created that child in the image of God. He created He created that child in His image. And it's not our place to take and say it doesn't. It needs to die. You may say, I don't have the money to take care of that child. But Matthew 6, 33, it says, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these other things will be added unto you. That verse is not saying that He will give us everything we want. We may have to suffer, we may have to give our fancy car up, or TV. We may have to suffer and give things up that we want to raise this baby. But that's what we're called to do. Women, you are called to have children and take care of children. Men, you are called to protect life and called to protect your wife and your child. Stop being a coward and be a man. Cowards hide behind walls. They get a girlfriend and they hide. And they don't want to take responsibilities. That's what cowards do. You got her pregnant, now deal with your consequences. If I go to court, if I speed down the road and the cop buys me a ticket and say, well, judge, I'm a, I'm a good person. The judge is not going to look at that and say, well, you're a good person. You fed the homeless. You fed the poor. You you, you pay all kinds of money in the city. No, he's going to throw me in jail if I don't pay the ticket. He's still going to write me a ticket. Sir, repent and turn to Christ. Fair game, guys. Like I said, how do you know if you're a Christian? Well, the Bible says that God will take a heart of stone and He'll give us a heart of flesh. And we'll hate our own desires and we'll love the God that we hated. We will hate the sin that we love. We will hate lying. We will hate stealing. Not saying we'll be perfect because no, we're not perfect. We will still, we will still fall. But we will continually put that sin to death. We will say, I don't want it no more. We'll turn to Christ every time we fall. Guys, please let us help you guys. Please come down and let us give you information to adopt your child or, or whatever you need. Many people have sex every single day and God does not give them a child. So sex is not the way that you get pregnant. Yes, God uses that means to get you pregnant. But God has to put that baby in the mother's womb. And He has put that baby in your womb. And He's called you to take care of it. I don't know how you got pregnant. If you got raped, if you had, if you got pregnant by incest, those things are terrible. But we should not kill the baby for the father's sins. That baby does not deserve to die. 
The person that raped you deserves to die, and that is why you are here. The Bible says that. Guys, you may say your baby has a disability, but that doesn't matter either. Because I know people with disabilities, and they're not any different than you and me, any, any different than you. Yeah, they may have a struggle time with reading and writing, but they're still made in the image of God. God can still use them for His kingdom, for His glory. They may be someone that cures cancer. They could be someone that cures AIDS. You don't know what God has planned for them. Don't take their life because you want your life to be better. Don't take their life because you want the things that you want, but you don't want your child. Like I said, you may not have the money, but we're offering you to adopt your child. We're giving you resources. If you say you don't have the money to adopt a child, how do you have the money to afford it? How do you have the money to murder it? Please. Let us help you. You guys do not have to do this. Women, they get, they get abortions. They go through oppression. They go they get suicidal thoughts. 60% of women de deal with this problem. Sir, you're allowing your wife to do this to your girlfriend. You're allowing her to go through with this. That is your child. You're gonna go to a wedding one day. And see, hey, I, you know, and watch somebody, their son walk their mother or somebody down the aisle. And you're going to say, wow, that could have been my child. What are you going to do when you stand before God and you have to answer for this? Because you will stand before God and you will answer for this. Will you say that, well, I fed the homeless or I fed the poor. Or I gave money to the church. I went to church every single week, every single Sunday. That is not going to earn you to heaven. You're not going to get to heaven on bias. The only way you'll get to heaven is by putting your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only forgotten Son, for whoever shall believe and not perish, but have everlasting life. You will stand before God, and you will answer for murdering your child. God will hold you guilty for that. You will not get away with that. But there is hope, and there is forgiveness in Christ. You have to walk away from this place, as I said earlier. You have to truly realize that you deserve hell. And the only way to deserve, the only way to get out of this situation is trust Christ. Put your hope and faith and trust in Him. And he will take care of you. He will give you everything that you need, as I said. You don't have to go through with this. There's so many women in America that cannot have children. And they will adopt your child. They want children. And they don't understand why God has not blessed them with children. There are so many people that want children. Please let us help you. Please come down. And let us give you information. We'll take you to a home resource clinic. We'll give you anything that we have that we can give you. If we have to raise your child until it is 18, we will help you do that. Just please do not murder your child today. God made that baby. He knit that baby together in his mother's womb. He knew that baby. He knew it even when it was in its liquid form.
Your baby cries, he's gonna cry out to the, from the ground. It's blood. He's gonna cry out to God. Have mercy. It's asking God to have mercy. So please have mercy on your child today. There again, these doctors do not love you all. They hate you all. All they want is your money so they can do the things that they want to do. You guys are giving your resources that God has blessed you with. You may say that I, it's not my money, I'm just giving insurance. Well, God has given you the insurance to use, but not for this. We were created to bring glory to God, and this is not bring glory to God. God hates the hands to shed innocent blood. But there is hope and forgiveness in Christ. As I said earlier, Jesus Christ, 2,000 years ago, died on a cross for me and you. He took His Son, He left His kingdom, His perfect kingdom, to come here on a wicked earth and became a man. It took our sin on His behalf so we would not have to perish and to live totally separated from Him. And you may say that I'll be partying in hell with my friends. No, you won't. You will not party in hell. It will be the hardest thing that you'll ever felt. If you think you can handle hell, put your hand over a stove for two days and tell me if you can handle hell. It is ten times harder than that. It multiplies. As I was saying, Jesus Christ, fully God, fully man, sent His Son to live a perfect life that me and you can now live. So we now have to stand and totally separate from Him. And how you come to that salvation is putting your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. And like I said earlier, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son for whoever shall believe and perish, whoever shall believe should not perish and have everlasting life. Please come and let us help you all. Have mercy on your child that God has blessed you with. Please have mercy. I've given you so many options today. You have no excuse to go through with this. You have no excuse to murder your child today. I've given you every option to get out of this. You don't have to do this. You know this. You know it's wrong to murder. You know it's wrong to lie. Because God is written on your heart. Help you today. Say, be a man, protect your hands from your child. Okay, I'll offer the city resources. I'm offering the doctor time. I'm not giving the law. But I'm offering to give you hope. I'm offering to give you hope. You have no excuse today to do this. Tell me that Freddy Freddy is not the option. They're not the help. I save you. The question is that you may murder your child today, but the question is, you are still a mother or a father. But the question of that is, will you still, you will still be a mother or a father. You must be a mother or a father of a dead child. Just because you get rid of it now, that's just that it still makes you a mother or a father. You will live with that guilt for the rest of your life. Please, let us help you. I've given you so many options that you all don't have to go through with this. Have mercy. 